morning, good evening, uh, wherever around the world you might happen to be. Uh, this is Jimmy D here with another episode of uh, Pomelo Pitch Deck, the show where we take, you know, 20 or 30 minutes to dive into all of the proposals that are coming out uh, across the board uh, for people in the Antelope IO ecosystem. Um, today, we're joined by Perry of D News. Uh, welcome to the show, Perry. I'm kind of excited to uh, hear about what's going on with this pitch and this project. Well, thank you, Jim. I appreciate it. This is my, my first interview, as I just told you just a moment ago, and I'm really happy to be here with you. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. So is this the first, um, we'll drop the proposal uh, in the comments and we'll review it a little bit uh, before, but is this your first uh, proposal for uh, D News on the Pomelo Grants platform or have you done some already? <clears throat> I, did, uh, I did it last season. Uh, I went through the, the whole process last season and uh, yeah, yeah, I enjoyed it. Uh, so, you guys, so, so you guys, um, in the first season, you collected some funding. It's a great, um, it's a great uh, proposal platform, really. I mean, it, it's a if, if you're new, if you happen to be new to Pomelo, um, what it is is it's a quadratic kind of funding mechanism that uh, matches um, funds that are donated from the community um, and kind of pairs them against the amount of interest uh, that a project has, not necessarily um, the amount of money uh, that is donated, but more spread across the amount of uh, people that donate, right? So if you have one donor that donates $10,000 or you have 100 donors that collectively donate $10,000, the matching pool will actually give you more money uh, in the second case. Um, so you guys got some funding. Uh, you had some fans, some people who threw you some uh, some some EOS. Uh, what did you end up um, using that funding for and and building uh, out uh, from the last season? Well, I uh, I paid uh, hosting. My uh, upgraded my hosting. Uh, I did that. And I paid uh, for some some software services. Uh, that's basically, it wasn't that much money. So it went pretty quickly. Okay, great. Uh, and so, yeah. and, and so for people who don't know, again, I'm going to put this up now. Um, you can visit the, 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 so you're just getting going, which is good. I mean, it's always good to see, uh, projects moving, but for people who don't know, um, can you just give us a brief kind of overview of uh, what exactly D News is and why it's important. I mean, now that you've got uh, some some web service hosting happening, now that you've got uh, kind of the ball rolling, um, what is the main thing that people should be excited about when it comes to um, your D News EOS IO EO proposal and what you guys are going to build with it? Well, we've already built it. Uh, we're improving it all the time. So it, it's a little different than a lot of the projects on Pomelo, where it's not really a proposal to build it. It's, it's a request to reward us for what we've already built. So it's for what, we, what we've already built. It's already there. And to give people a, a brief overview of what DNews is, it's essentially an aggregator of news. It's a few things, but, but at its core, it's an aggregator of all the posts that occur across the, the ecosystem uh, from the various players, from ENF to Pomelo itself, to Fractally, to individuals, uh, uh, their posts, individual players uh, that are contributing. Uh, all of these, these, these posts that we, we consume as members of the community to comprehend what's going on that occur on different platforms and different formats. There, those are their videos on YouTube, Rumble, Odyssey. There are articles on Medium.com, articles on on corporate websites, on individual websites. There's podcasts on Spotify. All of these things on different formats, different platforms, and different formats. I'm bringing them together all in a single stream. So if somebody is new to the ecosystem, it's kind of easy to get a, a general feel for what's going on with the least amount of effort. 
And even more so, I think more importantly, is that people who are veterans and who are spending, you know, all day, this is their life, uh, it's a huge time saver. And in fact, uh, those are the people that have privately uh, DM'd me, that have privately communicated and thanked me for what I've created. And that's really my, my greatest motivation at this moment, is I really feel like I'm saving them time. And that's, that's one aspect of it, is the time-saving aspect, the convenience uh, of being able to consume everything in, in one place. The other aspect of it is that it's anti-censorship. So what I'm doing is I'm scraping the internet, much like Google News does, but I'm, I've, of course I've focused it on, on our EOS IO community, our antelope community. Uh, uh, but it's a very much like deep, like like uh, Google News, and uh, and I brought all this stuff together, and uh, and I've paired it with a calendar. So so you have all of this incoming uh, uh, posts, which are not getting censored, because when I scrape them, I scrape everything, and I don't censor anything. If I if I attach to a source. I get everything that that source, that particular source, or uh, rather it's a, uh, whether it be a channel or a playlist, I get everything that, that that particular channel or playlist or blog produces. And I don't filter it, which is very different from when you go on to Twitter or YouTube or, or, a, or any of these platforms, they're deciding what you see and when based on, on some algorithm, which we're in the case of Twitter, we're understanding uh, how that can be manipulated. And it certainly is being manipulated by, by the platforms. So DNews eliminates that. So it's, it's a very good tool for, I believe, for a decentralized community, which doesn't have like a, a center. Yes, it's true, ENF is a, is a center of gravity for the, the ecosystem, but it's not the whole thing. There are many players, and there are players that, that don't, uh, that, are, that uh, run contrary to the narratives uh, and beliefs and values that the ENF holds and uh, vice versa. So, so a decentralized community is unique in that. And it has that unique problem where, where uh, there we have all of these desperate uh, sources of information. And so it kind of begs for an aggregation of all of these for the convenience of, of, the, uh, of the ecosystem members. So that's I mean, kind of that's the overview of DNews. I mean, for me, it's it, it's interesting, right? Like, I I bounce throughout the space here and there, as many people know. I mean, um, right now, I'm I'm mostly focused on like basically trying to bring as many pitch decks as possible um, to the community, right? And that in itself is like a full time and a half job, right? Um, but it's funny for me because, you know, I've seen some really interesting uh, tweets or some really interesting articles. But like you mentioned, it, it's quite difficult to keep up, right? I mean, especially if you're out there building in the space. But even if you're not building in the space, if, if you're out there, um, you know, communicating or engaging in the space. And then when I think about, like, the possible inevitable fact that, you know, in 10, 20 years, EOS IO as a software will still be around, right? And I think about the amount of funding that's coming in and all these other things. And then I think about the fact that if we are to be successful in this little ecosystem of ours, we're actually going to have to start bringing people from, you know, beyond blockchain that don't really know that much about it mm -hmm. into the network that really complicates things, right? Because where do you go for your news? Where do you go, like, for the lack of FUD? Where do you go for the perspective? Where do you go for the experience? I'm actually probably going to spin up a new series or a new show where um, I'm going to look at, you know, an article or a, um, a tweet, and I'm just going to go online, and we're going to go through, you know, what the community thinks, right? And that's going to be one tweet, and that in itself is time-consuming, right? So I think if you can have a place where people can go and they can get, you know, kind of some sense of the sentiment of projects, the sentiment of communities, the, 
even the sentiment of like negators, right? <laughs> That's really important because I think like one of the most important things about being a DAO or decentralized, uh, you know, organization or, or building out blockchain is to have everything out there in the open, right? Not, not as just like a promotional advertisement thing, right? So I think that's pretty, pretty important thing that you're putting together here. Um, who do you think gets the most out of this platform and for what reasons, right? Like, cause I, I can, I can see like two or three different groups of people that would use it um, for different reasons, right? So who do you think um, as kind of the creator it, and, and some of the feedback that you've gotten so far, um, is this platform, you know, helping the most right now at present? Well, I can tell you the, the, the private messages that I've gotten, which I'm not going to disclose uh, the people, are some of the top individuals in both ENF and Fractal. Okay. And they seem to be some of the busiest people, mm. the absolute busiest people, where their job, it's, it's absolutely critical to comprehend what's going on in the ecosystem. Right. And, you know, they're doing the same thing that I was doing, which is hunting and pecking and getting over on this platform and then logging on to this platform and looking and opening up this video and then opening up and finding and searching for, for this article, they're doing, they were doing the same thing that I've been doing. And so I think they appreciate it the most and they've, they've expressed their, their, uh, their appreciation privately. I will tell you that I have, had, I introduced it to the community this summer, this last summer, but I had been running DNews privately for myself, monitoring the community for a few years. It, it didn't look exactly the same. It was just kind of the core technology and, just for my consumption, but it was essentially the same the same concept. It, I was drawing in, scraping the, the these these accounts, and uh, and producing this stream for myself just to make it easier. Uh, I had it pointed towards the Ethereum uh, community for a while. It, the, the very first was for at EOS, and then I de uh, I, I decided to point it towards Ethereum for a while, see what they were doing, and kind of educate myself uh, what they. Uh, what was happening over there. And then uh, around the springtime, I decided that I was going to join Pomelo and I, I repointed it back to the EOS community for, uh, and then, and then decided to share it. I, I, I really think it's, it's worth sharing for everybody. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't think I, I have, a, it doesn't give me some advantage that I, that I want over, over other people. I, I, I would prefer that we all, have uh, the same source of information and that we share a common mindset. I think that's a, that's a good contribution. And I was in a position to, to make it. So I did, I just decided to, to make it public and kind of clean it up a little bit, and make it a little, a little sweeter. So, I mean, I, I, that's, it's good. Like, you know, cause people who tune into this channel or other episodes uh, know that I'm kind of free and unhinged with my uh, speculative opinions um, you know, for me, it kind of would have been uh, the, the fact that, you know, you can have, um, again, I said this already, but a variety of, of different perspectives that you can plug into. Because I think that's like one of the most important things in the ecosystem that we're in, right? Like we have constantly for the last couple of years, right? I remember the first time I met you, Perry, like we were on a group call and th this is a few years ago, but ever since that time, even right, like we were we were we've been battling you know fud like right like people in other ecosystems that just didn't like dan or didn't like eos or didn't like block one or the funding right like a lot's changed in those two or three years right so i think like putting out that information and, and 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 letting people see that there are people in the community that are visibly frustrated right with with the certain protocols even people in charge now there's some a lot of a lot of you know um uh i guess uh opposing views even within the community itself right like there's segregated things right but like we're also in an echo chamber right a lot of people um um who who tend to give news uh, myself included we tend to be a little bit biased right even the people who are trying not to um there's always going to be that bias there right and we've got a lot of great news sites that um you know do report on eos news but the majority of them are kind of pro EOS platforms. And I think maybe what you what you're doing over there with D News is 
um, you know, going back to what you were saying, the the things that you're scraping from the internet, they might not all be pro EOS, right? Which I think is really useful um, when it comes to marketing, because now we can look at it and we can say, okay, well, where is the misinformation coming from, right? Like, how can we correct that? Or, you know, why are these people uh, who are, you know, probably on the same side, not really agreeing, right? Or, you know, when it comes to, uh, even putting out information about what people know um, and what what projects are being created and what is being built and what is being advanced. I think these are all really valuable sources for the community. So um, you have the roadmap here. Let's just quickly go through that. For the season for, uh, four roadmap, what you want to do is you want to explore deeper language translation, explore deeper market data in, uh, per cryptocurrency, explore a humanoid event host role that maintains the events in the calendar, and explore how a DAO could be used for editorial control of media website like DNews. I mean, so so language uh, translation, let's start there. Uh, right now, um, how many uh, languages are built into the DNews platform uh, for the scraping and for the publication? <clears throat> I believe the number is 13 at the moment. I've got 13 languages, a few Chinese, some, some Indian, uh, German, Italian, French, Spanish, English. Uh, yeah. Uh, the full list is on the site. Let's see here. Yeah, I can't recognize the, the flags right off the bat. J Japanese, Korean, of course. Yeah, yeah. So there's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I, I correct myself, ten, ten different languages. That's and fair. that's important. I'm glad you bring that up, Jimmy. Uh, that's another aspect of bringing the community together because we have such a huge divide between East and West. And uh, the if 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 we can get the, the East to get a constant flow of what we're saying here in the West, and that's mostly what I'm posting is uh, Western, Western sources. Uh, if we can share with them, uh, maybe somebody on in the Chinese side will do the same and, and share what's going on on, on their side. Uh, I don't know, but I don't know the actual numbers or the figures, but my guess is there's at least as much activity on the on the Asian side as we have on the West. So maybe you oh, can don't even get me started, Perry. Haven't been in Japan for years. Don't even get me started. I mean, honestly, like again, not directly related to any proposition of of what you know, Generios may or may not say. Um, you'd actually have to ask the other members on the team directly. But like in my very humble. Um, and almost always correct opinion. Um, <laughs> one, of things, one of the things that has really propped up EOS, I think, uh, through through the darkest of times, has been um, you know the uh, impact of what the East actually does. Right? Like, there's some pretty big players over there. Some of them have moved towards the ENF. I know EOS Nation was really involved. Jenner EOS is really involved. Like some really big block producers from the early days. Right? Like, I mean, you've got the EOS Go. Um, team, uh, which is also, you know, EOS Asia, right? Like they're, they, they look at blockchain in a completely different way, right? So I think it's really important, right, to, um, to stratify that across uh, places, right? I mean, I, I, I don't know if you're where you're located presently is, is out there in the world, but I know where you're located presently um, could be like a major hub in the next few years to come when it comes to blockchain, right? Because it offers services, it offers the ability, it offers, you know, uh, people uh, to bank that have previously been unbanked and they can do it on their own, right? And I think what EOS is doing with DeFi um, in particular, what EOS is doing with tokenomics and, and the safety that they're trying to bring um, into the market where other blockchains might not. Oh, well, you got hacked. I'm sorry that that DeFi platform got hacked, but you're never going to get your money back, right? Like, because that's not blockchain. That's not what we do. But EOS is trying to actually, you know, carve their own path. So I think when you look at it like this, and you, and you look at, uh, we've had this conversation before as well, when you look at certain countries in the world, right, uh, whether it be in Asia, whether it be in South America, whether it be uh, in Eastern Europe or in Africa, there's a real value proposition here um, for the ability to be able to, um, you know, connect and, and implement uh, better finance, right? And I think that one of the driving forces of that personally 
that we've seen in the EOS community. On a, in again, in my humble opinion, I could be wrong, but one of the big driving forces has actually come from the Asian side of it, right? So the fact that we can integrate these two things together, we can actually have a conversation, right? I mean, some of the biggest powerhouse economies in the world, um, you know, stretch across all continents, and we should be. Um, you know, trying to understand their perspective on why EOS matters, because it might not necessarily be the same as ours. It might not necessarily be the fact that, you know, um, the political alignment of such countries might not always be the same, but that doesn't delimit the fact that they're useful for the citizens in the society, right? <clears throat> that's, that's an excellent point. Yeah, I totally, I totally agree with that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. I'm not supposed to ramble on about these things. Um, so <laughs> that's, that's an excellent point. We, uh, we need to make a distinction between governments and peoples. That's, mm -hmm. I think that's a legitimate point. And we need to connect with, I think, the people. We need to connect with the community. And, uh, you know, their governments come along with them uh, inherently. But, uh, but the point is, is we, we need to come to a, a consensus. And really, it's the best word. Uh, as a community, regardless of our of our nationalities or our ethnic backgrounds, absolutely. One one other, a few other uh, features, Jimmy, that I want to make sure uh, that I that I uh, let you know about sure. are the the RSS feeds that I've set up on the site, mm -hmm. and this is one of the things that I promised uh, that I, well that I that I suggested I would try uh, last season, and I successfully did. It is an RSS feed for the actual posts. So the aggregation that I'm doing, anybody can now draw on that feed without having to aggregate themselves. They just draw, they just draw on my website as if they were, they were drawing an RSS feed from a single website, but they're getting the whole community in one shot. And the way they do that is they go to the, uh, the search page. There's two. There's uh, two main pages, but but all the pages have it. The two main pages are the search page, which has the essentially the entire stream. So if you click on the magnifying glass on on the application, you don't have to do it now. But if you're on the app, there's a little magnifying glass, or it also says it's in the menu. It says uh, search, and you click on that. There's a little icon that looks like a, uh, a Wi-Fi icon, like little waves, and you click on that, and it brings you to the page where you can feed to your RSS reader, and you will get all of that. Now, why is that important, all, all of those posts? You could put all of those posts in a blog on your website if that's what you wanted to do. Right. If you wanted to just do one particular topic, like, you, like for example – uh, I don't. I, I think there's. I believe there's a Generios uh, uh, tag. You click on the streams tag, and you find the Generios tag. I don't know if you have. If I'm if I'm gathering from multiple sources in in your case, but in many other cases, there are people that have like, for example, on the ENF, they've got they've got it from the Spotify, they've got a YouTube, they've got articles. Uh, there are many different sources, so it brings them all together. So that's for posts. And then for, for community events, same thing. If you go to the calendar, there's a similar little icon, a little wave icon you can see there in text, uh, very near the top. And you click on that, and it goes to an RSS feed there, which allows you to, for your website, if you wanted to post it, all the events of our community that are being posted to the calendar. And so what, it, what I'm encouraging other websites to do that are in our community is to use those like like we like you use advertisements. So instead of putting an advertisement banner, just put a banner of all the events that are occurring in the in the community, and you don't have to go to the trouble of aggregating them. You just grab them from DNews. So that's another service that I'm trying to offer the community uh, uh, in terms of uh, uh, in terms of contribution. And then the other thing that I've added, and it's it's kind of in beta right now. I have it turned off at the moment because I'm. I'm debugging it, but I'm posting all of the uh, the uh, posts that come to DNews, all the all the aggregates, everything that shows up in the search page is going to to my DNews Twitter account. So imagine that the whole community is getting is getting aggregated on the DNews site, and that whole thing is now being driven 
to a single Twitter account. So really all you'll need to do is, is uh, subscribe to, that, to, my, to the DNews Twitter account and you'll get the entire EOS community in one feed. Now, I, 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 I'm going to be turning off comments on it because I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to start. <laughs> I don't want to be the arbiter of, of right. I'm not trying to take away the, the, uh, the debate or, or the discussion, but people can certainly retweet it or requote it and, and then have their own, their own feed. I'm happy with that. So I've got, to, I've got to figure out how to uh, automatically turn off the ability to, uh, to post to those particular things. But in any case, uh, those, two, those are two new features in addition to, uh, to uh, all, the, all the little features that I've added. Like, for example, you can now see all the local uh, events in your own time zone, your own local time zone, as well as UTC. So I'm just trying to make it convenient for everybody to, uh, to follow along and engage, because I think that's the whole key. We have this huge opportunity by being this giant DAO and now with Eden, we have this huge opportunity to, to, to really be an example of how governance can be had. And getting as many people involved and engaged as much as possible is, is really what I'm, I'm trying to do. It's what I'm, what I'm trying to contribute to. Right. So, and I, I, think, I, I think it's kind of, you know, telling that um, you've put this together, right? Like knowing a little bit about your background and where you came from and, and how much you've been invested into the system and, um, you know, what you've done. Uh, I think it's really great. And so, like we said, um, you know, the more, I mean, you've got quite a bit built here already, right? Like it, it's operational. Um, it kind of seems like the majority of, of what you have to do now is just kind of fine tune it and, and uh, uh, tailor it towards, you know, a better user experience or um, maybe add some, uh, you know, plugs that are more useful for other sites and things like that. Um, is there anything else that um, people should maybe be uh, looking forward to uh, about what your long-term intent of this is um, before we let you go there, Perry? <clears throat> Well, I'm I'm I am moving towards a uh, a scenario where the editorial choices that I'm making as the as the sole editor at this particular moment determining what what sources I'm not determining each post, but I am determining what source I'm drawing from, which playlist on YouTube, which channel, which medium uh, account that I'm drawing from. So I'm, I'm, that is an editorial decision that I'm making. Uh, of course, I'm not, I'm not intervening in the actual texts of the articles, but I'm deciding those which are, 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 are chosen, which sources are chosen. That, those sets of decisions, I think, belong to the community. They belong to a DAO. They belong to people who have been elected in some form and uh, and I and I believe that model should really. I think we can create a model for all of crypto, where the community is deciding what their what their stream of consciousness is, what what the the totality of the of their of their posts that are coming in from the community, what makes up that stream, and so in that effort, I have I have created, uh, and this is actually. Uh, the first stage of it is complete. There's, a, there's now a link called Suggest. And what Suggest is, is essentially a, a link to a Google form. And it's a Google form to make a suggestion of what site, what sources you would like to add or delete from the, uh, from the system. So it's, it's, it's basically allowing the community to suggest what they what they want to see or what they would like to have removed right. right and this is a this is a preliminary step to to handing it off to a, a a DAO which would then make the same decisions right yeah so if you're that one guy that is like completely anti ENF everything and like you can happen to rally around enough i guess for your whatever 51 60% 
um, that this source might happen to be pro ENF and it's a little bit jaded, then you could do that. On the, on, on the contrary, I mean, maybe um, your source that you're always using is kind of toxic and negative for the community and the rest of the community could decide to, you know, um, suggest that that maybe is removed. It, does it go both ways then, Perry? <laughs> Well, it's up, to, it's up to the community. I mean, if you're following along uh, on, on my interaction, not, at, not D News itself, but myself as, as, a, as a community member, I have been critical of DNA, but I include everything there. I have been very critical of EOS Bs. I don't, in, I don't feel that that's the direction the community should go, but they, they have a feed. And I, if they have more feeds, uh, there, I'm, I'm happy to put them on. Okay, so, so, so the suggest function is basically, the, I just want to clear this up. The suggest function is more, because uh, you, you brought this up earlier in the interview, the su suggest function is more along the lines of, okay, maybe this is a source that, you know, you didn't know about, or, or the people who are creating this platform didn't know about. It's not, a, it, it's not a way to, um, it, it's not a way to negate uh, other people's viewpoints necessarily. It's more a way to include as many possible viewpoints as you can. Um, well, if, if some people say, if enough people tell me they don't want to see that, yeah. then it's going to bring it to my attention, and I'm going to ask why. Why is that? Why is that? Should that not be included? Okay. Uh, in the future, the 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 DAO should decide those kinds of things. So that's that's what I'm trying to do is to create a model that we can, that that can show all of crypto. How we're doing it in EOS and how we're, we're doing it in a in in a somewhat democratic uh, fashion. Mm. That's the goal. That's that's what I'm trying to do. So right. this is one step uh, towards that. The next and final step of that particular of that particular feature is to then take away the form and then just give rights to the DAO members who are elected, and then they they just tell me what they want to see. They make those decisions, and and it's just it's not necessarily a, a Google form. It's just the spreadsheet that sits behind that form and they edit it. And the great thing about, about using a Google form is that it has all of its, uh, all of the uh, edits are locked. So nobody can just go in go ahead and, and make changes with nobody knowing. I had created an entire interface in the system. It was an internal system. But then I stepped back and thought to myself, you know what, I think it's better that that it become a neutral party like Google uh, Docs, or it could be Dropbox or any document management service, so that it could be owned. That list, that editorial list, could be owned either by the the media, in this case D News, or the DAO that controls it. I think it's important that it could go either way. So I'm trying to create this fluid, this fluid sense of control for the for the ecosystem. So thank you very much, uh, Jimmy. I really appreciate you you allowing me to uh, to express myself here. Thank you. No, and I mean it's great. Like I'm gonna do this right now. Uh, what would you name the source, Pomelo um, Pitch Deck? Because like, I mean, we these should be on there, shouldn't they? Um, Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, do you you have the source, and it's a really simple form, right? I mean, the, the, just just go in there. Uh, Beautiful. Put the information in. I'll, I'll finish this. Uh, I'll finish this up. Um, off air, but as you can see, it's super simple. And go in there and plug it in, and 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 get everything that you need uh, over there uh, on the thing. So uh, Perry, I have to let you go. I think because I think that we have another um, interview coming up. Uh, you know, um, in in the next minute or two, um, once I hear back from them again. This is the last day of Pomelo, um, so make sure that uh, all of the projects that you want to support, you go and you uh, donate that EOS. Um, it's back to that quadratic funding model, so uh, you can you know pick ten or fifteen or twenty different projects, toss you know uh, an EOS, and 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 that will uh, enable the projects to garner more funding, um, you know, from the quadratic funding mechanism that actually is used to to divvy out the funds. Um, the, the fourth season, I mean, you've been around since the second. I'll be honest, um, Perry, this website looks great. I mean, it's clean, it's sleek, it's 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 already uh, underway. It's in the works. Um, I really do wish the the best of luck to you and and all that you're building. 
Um, and I hope that you get the funding that, um, you know, will enable you to continue doing it. Cause I know you put a lot of your own time into this, um, just because of the passion and, and, and where you, um, where you lie personally. Um, but yeah, I would definitely encourage everyone to come and, and, and donate, uh, if you think that this is, uh, useful. And if you don't think that this is useful, then I would encourage everyone to go, um, and check out, uh, the website because I mean, there's a plethora of knowledge, uh, over here that I think a lot of people aren't even aware of. So definitely go and share this video out. Um, definitely go and, and share the, uh, D news website out, um, across the board to the community. And, and if you happen to have a, a site that, um, if you happen to have a site that you think you know, maybe should be featured on the D news, then uh, go and give them that as well. So uh, any final thoughts before I let you go then uh, Perry? <clears throat> I think we covered a good amount. Uh, I re I really much appreciate it, Jimmy. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time. Ah, and I mean, thank you. Uh, please come back uh, maybe after uh, the new year, um, after the funding has been doled out and give us an update or uh, maybe just come back on the channel and, and, and let's chat about, you know, um, what's been happening uh, in, in the ecosystem, in this particular ecosystem, um, because, you know, obviously you're plugged into a lot of things. So it'd be kind of interesting just to have your uh, take on, on, you know, the past events uh, over the course of the year, right? I mean, uh, there's some really interesting things happening out there in the news. I, I, I may uh, poke a few bears because I, I have opinions that I often let out of the bag. But one of the things that I'm pondering doing actually is, 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 doing a deep dive on certain posts that are out there um, where there is some controversy and just bringing that to people's attention, right? Not necessarily, um, you know, picking aside myself, but I think it's important that uh, people uh, beyond the ecosystem actually know that like everyone isn't, uh, you know, on the same page. Cause I mean, that's what makes EOS uh, one of the best communities I think. And then that's the way that EOS has kind of been structured since the beginning. Right. I remember back in the early days, um, you know, with all the drama about the telos and, and the capping of the accounts and there was some proton drama back that way. Right. Like um, there's multiple chains for multiple reasons. Um, so I think one of the things that I really like uh, about what you're building uh, Perry, honestly, is the open transparent um, kind of, willingness to accept all viewpoints into the platform to give people the best rounded opinion that we possibly can. And uh, I think that's fairly unique in the ecosystem that doesn't necessarily happen a lot. So, well, that, thank you very much for that, Jimmy. That reflects the fact that, that D news is not a promotions promotional tool. Uh, it is more of a business intelligence tool. So I'm not using it to promote anybody. I'm using it to keep track of what's going on in our community, right? D despite what Patrick may may, may wish. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna have to do a D news. Uh, we're gonna have to do a a a, a, a D news debuffer uh, at some point, maybe. Um, let let you come on and, and answer to all the critics. But yeah, we'll. Oh, we'll I, would right it. we'll I would love it. I would love it. Time. Um, <laughs> Well, best of luck to you, Perry. It was it's always a pleasure uh, to talk to you. Um, and 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 please do take care. Um, as for Pamela Pitch Deck, we may do one or two more today. I think uh, possibly before they round up, or you know, Perry might be the last man standing. We're not really sure, but definitely like and subscribe to the Jenner EOS channel. You can do that below. Um, we throw videos out. If you want to come on any of our episodes, um, I, I, you know, after the pitch decks have wrapped up, if you want to come on to one of our spotlight series, or you want to, um, you know, put together a, a Perry, I'm definitely going to be calling you because I'm thinking about doing a little bit of a debate show at some point. So I think that would be fun. Uh, you know, have two or three people uh, come in and, and just talk about, you know, their personal perspective um, on, on the EOS ecosystem and where we should be headed. Um, you know, kind of back, throw back to the old EOS, uh, EOS radio uh, days. Uh, cause I think that, that in the, in the space is, is missing as well. So if you ever want to come on and, and join Jimmy D on the Jenner EOS channel, um, you, you're more than welcome. Just hit me up and, uh, yeah. you know, if we can, we'll fit you into a series that exists. And if we can't, we'll create a new one. Cause yeah, that's what I do. Um, <laughs> that would be great, Jimmy. I would love that. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Uh, well, as for the rest of you, thanks for joining us as always. And, uh, please take care of yourselves and we'll see you, uh, next time. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.